what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of the square root of 1 plus root 3 over 2. well our first step will be for us to combine the fraction inside of the radical and in order to combine the fraction i'm going to be putting over 1 here so this becomes the square root of now to combine fraction we need to find the lcm of the denominator so what's the lcm of 1 and 2 the lcm of 1 and 2 is 2 so i'll be writing all over 2 which is the lcm here so 2 divided by 1 i have 2 2 times 1 is 2 plus now 2 Divide by 2, I have 1. Now 1 times root 3 is root 3. Our next step will be for us to make the denominator a perfect square. And how do I make the denominator a perfect square? It is simply by multiplying it by 2. So we have the square root of 2 plus root 3 all over, remember? Multiply the denominator by 2, 2 times 2. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 2 without also multiplying the numerator by 2. So we are still going to balance this by multiplying the numerator by 2. So that the numerator becomes 2 times 2 plus root 3. Now let's simplify the numerator and the denominator. So we have the square root of, now opening up the bracket, we have 2 times 2, 4, plus 2 times root 3 is 2 root 3. All over, 2 times 2 is 4. Now notice that the denominator is now a perfect square. Our next step will be for us to make the numerator a perfect square and how do i do that i'm going to be writing the numerator in the form of a plus b squared and you know the expansion of a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab so let's go ahead and write the numerator in this form which is a perfect square in order to do that, I'm going to be splitting 4 into, I'll be splitting 4 into 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 is the same as 4. So let's go ahead and write it that way. So this becomes the square root of 4, now becomes 1 plus 3, now plus 2 root 3, all over 4. Now, I'll be writing this 3 in the form of square root of 3, just like this one. So this becomes the square root of 1 plus, now 3 can be written as a square root of, a square root of 3, but we just have 3 here instead of square root of 3. Now, in order to cancel this square root so that it goes back to its original form, which is 3, I'm going to be squaring this expression. So this square makes this square root of 3 the same as this 3 here. Plus 2 root 3. So 2 root 3 all over 4. Now, to simplify this further, this can be written as the square root of 1. 1 is the same as 1 squared. Remember, I want to write this to resemble what I have here. So 1 is the same as 1 squared plus the square root of 3 squared plus 2 root 3 all over 4. Now, what I have here is now the same as what I have here. 
Okay, let me show you real quick. So this is a squared. We can just say let a be equal to this one here and b be equal to the square root of 3. You see that? Okay, so this is the same as 1 squared. Remember we said a is 1, so 1 squared plus b. b is the square root of 3. And from here, it is squared plus 2. You see that? 2a. A is what? A is 1. So 2 times 1 is still the same 2. So you can still put it if you want. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, b, what is b? b is the square root of 3. So the square root of 3. So this is the same as 1 squared plus the square root of 3 squared plus 2 times 1 times root 3 is 2 root 3. So this expression here is now the same as this expression. So our next step would be to write this in this form. So writing this expression in this form, we have open bracket a, what is our a? a is 1, so this is 1, plus b, what is b? b is the square root of 3, so the square root of 3. Now close your bracket and square the expression, so that's it. So we've been able to make this a perfect square like this. Let's continue. All right, so now let's write this in the form of a perfect square. So we have the square root. Remember the result we have when making this a perfect square? We have 1 plus the square root of 3 or squared. That's it. All over 4. Now recall that this expression can also be written as the square root of 1 plus root 3 or squared all over the square root of 4 according to indices. Since this square root is affecting the numerator and the denominator. Now, square roots can cancel off the square so that we have 1 plus root 3 in the numerator all over. Now, the square root of 4 is 2. So our next step will be for us to separate the fraction. And in separating the fraction, I'm going to be having 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 plus root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2. Well, if you want to stop here and leave this as your final answer, no problem. But if you want to go further, you can separate the fraction just like this. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.